March. Thank you. You're welcome. What up, everybody? It's March 17, 2024 in absolutely beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. We're getting the last good push to some pretty decent snowfall rate coming right now, so we're gonna take another drive. It's 2.20 in the morning, and I am very excited to do this and have a little bit of fun because there's not many cars on the roads. Yeah, this is, this is beautiful. Again, this is what we train for. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, again, hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you guys being here. If you guys feel like you wanna help support what I'm doing, all the effort and time I, I put into it, I, I'd love for you guys to check out the BigBearWeatherAndMore.com store. Get yourself some merch to support the channel. That would be amazing. And as always, I hope you wear it with pride because we've worked very hard to get here. It's a tiny channel, like there's a, but, I put in a lot of hours on this, <laughs> as you guys can see. It's worth every second, though. So yeah, we're just gonna drive to the snowiest part of town right now. See what's cracking over there. And also coming up here on the left hand side, if you need skis and snowboards to rent, you're going to want to go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have two shops, one block away and two blocks away from the village. On the left hand side over here on Big Bear Boulevard. It's one block away and two blocks away. The closest shop is off Knickerbocker, which is one block from Big Bear Village. And that is the ride shop for snowboarding. The other shop, one another block down is the ski shop. If you tell them you're a friend of the channel, they will wax your skis and snowboard for free if you bring in your own equipment. You got really top-notch products, you guys. High-level equipment, stuff for, for, for every experience level out here. Give them a shot, you will not regret it. such good people at get boards so we're coming up to the first shop going this direction the first shop is the ski shop right on the corner here here it is right there get boards that's it right there they're both really good sized shops you guys again they've, they've, they've got everything and here is the snowboard ride shop right there that whole building Anyway, for you guys to do a little bit of shopping, those of you who are into the whole uh, vaping situation, and if you're looking for other little things that Big Bear has to offer, go to Big Bear Smoke and Vape. They have two shops up here. One of them is right across from the ski shop at, at from of Get Boards, and the other one is in Big Bear City. The Big Bear City shop is humongous. It's not just smoke and vape stuff. They've got a little bit of everything. Um, owner's a cool, cool dude. I love him to death. He, he loves you guys. It's a huge reason why I'm very, very willing to support some of these businesses that really care about the tourist. His prices are fair. He's just a great guy. As I said, it's not just smoke, smoke and vape stuff at their main store. There's some other stuff there too. So go check it out and uh, if you tell Sahil, the owner that I sent you, he'll take care of you guys as well. I always have to remind you guys, I don't get anything. I, I don't make any money from, from referring these guys to you. I do it because I want you guys to have a really good experience up here. The more you guys have a good experience, the more you're going to come back. And we need you coming back often. Because you guys support our little town. I 
just read a crazy story about an employee at this Jack in the Box, you guys. Crazy, crazy. Some dude that works there kidnapped some girl and kept her locked in his house for six days up in Sugarloaf, like just recently. Um, it's a crazy, crazy story, you guys. Thank goodness she is okay now, but um, it was a, a, a really horrific story. And I'm just really surprised that I didn't know about it until today. It just makes me sick to my stomach. We need to bring back the firing squads for, for, for people like that. And let the victims actually be the ones uh, taking the power back, if you know what I'm saying. But thank God she's okay. Seriously, guys, like, I, I guess it was a huge story all over the news, all the news stations down the hill, like Channel 4, Channel 2, Channel 5, 7, and 9 News, and Fox 11 News and stuff, like, like all over the place. Just please be careful out there, you guys. We live in a very unstable time. A ton of unstable people. Just be extra cautious out there. I love you guys very much, and I don't want to see anything happen to you guys. head into the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley for a nice evening drive and as a gift I might shut up for a little bit. If that's possible. I'll try. I'll try.
those potholes. That's unfortunate. That was a bad one. in a car accident 
up in his home area near Sacramento. He and his friend, I guess, had been drinking a bit and they crashed their car, but the car ended up going into someone's pool and they, and, and, and they both couldn't get out of the car and they both drowned. Can you believe that, guys? My poor wife, that whole family, I feel so unbelievably just distraught for all of them. It just breaks my heart. My wife showed me all these little videos of him after the fact, like uh, he, he twirls fire and plays with fire and, and just just uh, just a really magnificent fire act. Just a cool, cool dude. Seemed, seemed like a, a, a really nice, really nice young man. And uh, it's, it's just extremely, extremely heartbreaking. And this gentleman's brother, I believe was murdered a year ago. Um, he was on going through hard times. And I think the story is, is that someone took his life. So that family lost two, two brothers within a, a two year period. I, I just, I, I really cannot imagine. I really cannot imagine. And again, my heart absolutely breaks for them. Man, life is life is too crazy. Life is too short, you guys. Make sure you tell everyone who you really care about how much you love them. Please do that. Please. It's it's so heartbreaking. I'm sorry to bring bring the mood down. Temperature's 33 degrees, by the way. Nice, big, beautiful snowflakes coming down.
about this place lately. On the right hand side up here is called the Outpost Big Bear. It's a, a privately owned hotel um, right on the lake, or right on Grout Creek, tributary. It's right here to, to the right. And you can only book the rooms at outpostbigbear.com. It's right here. You can't see much. But they have a few uh, a few really cute cabins right here. It looks beautiful. The reason Rachel and I have never stayed there yet is because um, Expedia and these other spots do not have a contract with that hotel to to book rooms. So you have to book through the Outpost BigBear.com. But I'm telling you what, you'll you'll get this this beautiful area that you cannot see right here. It's a very quiet quiet area. Get away from the hustle and bustle of all the tourism and just come enjoy your stay over here in Fonskin. It's a really neat little town. I never get sick of this. I never get sick of this. If it wasn't snowing, I would never do all this driving. But when it's snowing, it, it, it doesn't feel like I'm doing any driving. It just feels like I'm just cruising through heaven, you know? This is my heaven on earth. Temperature's still 33 degrees. I'm just so happy this whole storm, we have remained snow. That's very rare to say for this season. Technically today, because it's the 17th, uh, we'll probably be doing our aftermath video, probably in the early afternoon, just to make sure that there's no more stray showers, snow showers that come through. There's a chance we could get a rain shower tomorrow, or today, again, to be technically correct here, we, we could get a stray rain shower 
coming through. since I've lived here, maybe six or seven cars that have gone over the edge here. It's a, it's a very dangerous turn. And as a matter of fact, right here, past these trees, on the right here, I've seen some cars in the ditch upside down right there. I don't know if you can see Snow Summit, but some of the lights are on and it looks amazing. We'll get a little better view. Those orange, those oranges, orange reddish lights, that's Snow Summit over there. So we're gonna try to get a better view here. That's just one run. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it.
said I'd be quiet and I totally forgot about it, so I'll start again. Crossing over Big Bear Boulevard. There's the brightest hotel I've ever seen in my life. That's the Motel 7 or, or, or Motel 6. I, I don't, I just, they better have some good blackout curtains in there because you're gonna need it. Slushy slick, which I do not like. I'm happier if it's a little icier with a little snow on top of it. A lot happier. The slush, I do not like. Because the slush does not discriminate. Even if you're good driving on these conditions, it'll take you out. The ice, if you have a little snow on top of it, your, your experience can be a factor for sure, but the slush, I, it's, it just does, does what it wants. And we're making fresh tracks over here. It's not much, maybe three inches deep, but because you can tell by that side of the road how, how deep those tire marks are, maybe three or four inches over here. But we're making the freshies. thank you so much for putting up with me and all my talking and just being a pain in the butt but I love doing this for you guys thank you guys for all all the support I mean seriously guys I can use it big time so thank you it's very 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 helpful and I don't want you to think that you're just you know giving me handouts and stuff these are not handouts I, I think I worked my absolute butt off for this and people tell me I, I provide a really good service for you guys you guys tell me that so don't ever look at it like a, a handout just know that it's really helping me out so thank you thank you again and the two biggest ways to help is to go to bigbearweatherandmore.com and get yourself some merch 
or in the description of every video, there is a way uh, to help, how to help. So again, thank you guys. I am very thankful. slush that's what it's doing to us but since I realized that that's why I come up to some of these turns extremely slow because that's something that's probably gonna happen but yeah guys again thank you thank you for everything I really really appreciate it um, just being able to be here for you guys help you guys out you guys do the exact same for me you guys help me out a lot you guys help me out with everything emotional that I go through because I'm weak I'm a weak man pathetic sometimes but you guys help out a lot and i appreciate it beautiful moon ridge just please make sure you guys have a great rest of your evening and uh never forget we are a family you guys you guys are my brothers and sisters and we're always here for each other all right i love you all very much and thank you again for watching we're back on moon ridge road and we'll be signing out until the aftermath good night y'all